Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how you can add a new option to the select element from an input box using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom which is script.js. We need one container. One div element and it will have one input box. Placeholder will be enter text. It will have one button that will be add. We need one select element. Just remove this thing, we don't need this part. We need a couple of options here. So let's make it theta. Just copy and paste it two times. We did James. Same goes here. Make it Mary. Same goes here. Save it. Go to style sheet. Select the container. Display will be flex. Flex direction will be column. Justify content will be center and align items will be center. Select button and the input element. Padding will be 5 pixels and 20 pixels. Margin will be 5 pixels. Select select element. Padding will be 5 pixels. Margin top 10 pixels, width will be around 22%. Now just save it, open this file in the browser and this is the output. Let's start working on the script file. Select the button, select the input element. Select the select element. Add event listener to the button, which is click. This will be the handler function. So on the click of this button, we will create a option element and add it to the select element. So let's make it option and we'll create it using document.create element. We need to provide some value to it and that will come from input.value and it should be in lowercase. So let's make use of lowercase function. Text will also come from input.value. And we'll add it to the select element using add method. So let's provide option here. And we'll reset the value of input element to a empty string. That's it. Now just save it. Go to browser. Enter some name here. For example, Ronaldo. Click add. You can see we are getting Ronaldo here. Let me open the console window. Go to elements. And here you can see we have four options. Let me add one more option here. Let's make it marks. And pay a very close attention here. You can see we'll have a fifth option here. See, so this is the value and this is the text. In case you want to add all the options in the beginning, then you have to provide an index here and the index will be zero. So this will be the option and this will be the index. So as you know, in any collection, index always starts from zero. Now just save it, go to browser, 
type marks click add now you will see marks will be the first option if i'll add one more option here ronaldo then this will be the first option in case you want to add a option before a selected option then you have to make use of selected index property let me show it to you how you can do that so we need to get the selected index so let's make it correct index select dot options and we'll get the index of selected option by the help of selected index property and we'll provide it here okay now just save it go to browser now as you can see we have three options here but i want to add a new option before mary so i'll select the mary and i will type some random name here marks click on add and you will see the marks will be added before mary see if i select the marks and put ronaldo here click on add then ronaldo will come before the marks i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day